Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. As promised before the break, we have somebody or something made in Lagos. You never know. But um, we won't be doing the performance. But if you want to catch up, just stay tuned to our YouTube channel and catch the live performance. But let me introduce our studio guest. He was born Conrad Nonso Madweke, but a lyrical five-star general popularly called Ledge. He is a sound engineer, producer, and as you know, just a few of his kind can rock the mic and still stay true to the game. But you know what they say about the 90s baby, God years over there. Without further ado, permit me to introduce to you Ledge. Hello. What's good? Hey. Hey. Welcome to the show, bro. How are you doing? I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm good. How are you? No, bless, 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 bless. So you have something coming up. Tell us about the Lost Tapes, man. Okay, so Lost Tapes basically is um is the compilation of Lost Tapes, like okay. tapes I could not retrieve, like the files and stuff. Um, so um, uh, basically, like just the compilation. And the funny thing, what I like about the tape is that from every first, every first letter of each. Um, track spells mm -hmm. out this is ledge. Right? Nice. Track one to track and that wasn't deliberate, was it? Yeah, it was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, my favorite line yeah. in the whole mixtape is Alili. Alili. <laughs> but, but let's let, um, let's talk about um, the lost tapes, right? Yeah. Your name ledge, first yeah. of all, you need to explain to yeah. us that. Well, we and know. where did you lose the tapes? Because I believe that how, you did, keep, you well, how did you find them back, and what made you feel like this is what the people need to listen to right now? Yeah. Okay. So. This, so let's start with ledge. Okay, ledge. The true story behind Ledge was like this was from secondary school, high school. Like when some guys wanted to like, hey, what's up? I know so how's I'm like, yeah, like yeah, what does that mean? And I don't tell you that guy. I'm trying to tell you like later. I'm like, no, right. no. So I'm like, mm, means like Ledge. They're like, what's Ledge? I'm like, oh, legit. I'm doing something legit right now. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it was just like, came from whining. Drums like right. my name was Young C. Why C at that time? So right. funny enough. You know what I'm saying? So like I'm like, yeah, it's Young Young C, aka Ledge. Mm -hmm. And from there, everybody's just calling me Ledge. You know, what I'm saying? name stuck from there. And do you okay. leave life on the edge? Well, the name <laughs> now grew on me. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and I that found out that, mm, I mean, like, the lifestyle and everything, do you know what I'm saying? Things I've been through, do you know what I'm saying? Okay, the, yeah. the, the last question, I want to yeah. know, though, like, um, why do you think we need to hear the sound now? Why did you even bother to go try and retrieve these lost files? What's so important about it? Yeah, it's basically because people that heard it said, these songs cannot waste. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. I, I have my newer jams. Like, right. I'm really... Just listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want, I want to know more about your sound, though. For someone yeah. who's watching right now, doesn't mm -hmm. know who you are, yeah. how would you describe your sound? Like, what's special about you that yeah. is different from every other kid on the block? I'll say I make soul music. I connect. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, you can feel the pain from the vocals. You know what I'm saying? Mm. From everything. You can feel, like, you know what I'm saying? Emotions, real emotions going through the um, production of that, you know what I'm saying? Right. Record, yeah. I want to know what the for your upcoming artist. Um, yeah. What is your journey like? What's the struggle? What's that biggest mm. thing in the industry that you're just like, oh, bro, if you could take this out, I would be doing a lot better. Or if you could add this, I'll be doing a lot better. Well, I won't lie. I can't really point anything out because all I can say is pray and mm. believe God. Do you know what I'm saying? Just keep doing what you're doing. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. I, mean, I haven't gotten there yet, but I'm just, I'll just keep driving because it feels right to me. Mm. Right. Saying, yeah. okay. All right, so speaking of the pain and the struggle that you mm -hmm. said um, can be heard in your music, yeah. what pain or what struggle would you say that has molded your sound into the yeah. man you are today? Share one experience with you, with uh, us. Okay, let me just say, from when I was a kid, I would say I think I've been misunderstood. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm too direct, so people might read, read, read what I'm trying to tell you wrongly. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, like, instead of saying, Please pass me that cup. I can tell you, pass me that cup, please. Or do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the way I'm, mean, do you know what I'm saying? Like so, I've been misunderstood. So the way people see me and perceive me is different. Do you know what I'm saying? So sometimes in my music, do you know what I'm saying? I try to like let you know what I how I feel and let you understand where I'm coming from because I feel like there are people like me too. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? That are misunderstood. Do you know what I'm right. saying? Like bro, it's not like I mean any. Do you know what I'm saying? This is just me. Mm. So, yeah. No cap over here, but mm -hmm. I feel like you're one of the hardest rappers that the industry is yet to discover, right? Mm -hmm. And um, there's this dying hip hop culture going on, you know, mm -hmm. we have just few people that are real left, right? So how do you think that you're going to tr thrive in this industry with a lot of, you know, I won't even say mm -hmm. competition now, mm -hmm. with, without the back 
back end from other people. You know, everybody wants to listen to the bad, 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 bad kind of mm. music and all of that. But you're doing something real, you know, real hip hop. Mm. How do you think you're gonna make this happen for yourself that you you bring hip hop back? Okay, so it's very easy. I just hope when the pa 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 kill it, then show them that <laughs> like laundry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, right. exactly. Like I just show them that the pa 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 is really just pa pa pa. You know what I'm saying? Like listen to real music. You Let, know? Let's yeah. talk about your family though. Um, yeah. What's that been like? Do you have have you always had support? Do you have the support right now? Obviously, if you're born and raised in Nigeria or yeah. you have African parents, mm -hmm. music isn't something, except you're in a special type of home <laughs> and your oxygen is different, but music isn't something people are going like, yes, my son, I'm so proud of you. So um, tell, take us through that journey. How's that like? How was, right. that, how was it like before? How is it na like now? No. Uh, mm. So basically, um, when I was growing up, because my dad and my mom, they knew about, like, they allowed me to do my music because I started, they, I started showing them signs, like, when I was, like, three. I wasn't right. even aware, you know what I'm saying? Like, when they used to pray, you know what I'm saying? Like, morning devotions and stuff, I'll just be drumming on the table, like, you know what I'm saying? Then, mm. like, huh, this boy likes music. So, like, over a few years, you know what I'm saying? Like, they noticed that I started drumming in church, you know what I'm saying? So, like, when this whole I want to be an artist came up, it wasn't really a surprise to my mm. dad like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? So, he was really supportive, but... He tried to hold me back because he knows, I mean, he's older, so he knows mm. what drum scene really goes mm. down and all that. Drum scene. So, so there were some restrictions mm. and a hard head like me. <laughs> drum scene, I was always... Did he make you finish school? Are you done with school? Did well, you? not yet. Okay. Drum scene, but like he was always on I my... I can imagine drum, that. Oh my yeah. God, drum yeah. scene. So, so basically he saw, he saw the moves I was making himself. Mm. Drum scene, and I think he started believing in me. Then it was 2018, I was meant to come back to renew my visa and go back, mm. but unfortunately, it like passed, you. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry about All that. Alright, so, um, you know, a lot of people, I'm sure they're already on the streaming platforms, you know, trying to find out where's the lost tapes, what's going on there, and I'm sure yeah. they can't find it yet because it's unreleased, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so tell us what's going on. Tell us uh, where we, we can find the lost, lost tapes. tapes, actually, and um, you can find it on iTunes. Spotify, SoundCloud. Everywhere, basically. Yeah, so when did that Nigeria. drop, though? Because that, that sounds new to me. It dropped today. Today? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So exclusive. Yeah, exclusive. That, that's exactly what I wanted. Exactly. So, yeah, exclusive. <laughs> Ledge is telling yeah. you to go check out The Lost check Tapes out, yeah. on all streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, you know, name it. Just check it out, The Lost Tapes by Ledge himself. But sadly, we have to go. But, you know, we can't let you go without you dropping some bars for us on this show. So, real quick, you know, you, you have just a few I'm, seconds. Am I allowed to curse? No, you can't curse. So, you know, <laughs> you can all do something. Fresh and clean. <laughs> I get to the valley, I gotta go get it. I cannot be starving. I'd rather go for the money. My is hungry. I'd rather pull up in the scully. I might just pull up and get gully. I get to the bag. Baby mama need a stack. Say she wants this and that. Plus I got needs in fact. I don't go feel relaxed. I don't feel this slack. You see, I'm back on the road, so my pockets are swollen. So is the See, I need my to be lucky. I handle you. I don't feel the cast. <laughs> All right, so I think it's about time for you to just relax, but do not slack. As mm -hmm. tea time is over, but you know the tea never stops coming, but we got to brew some more. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Applause TV Africa. My thank you as always, we go to my co-anchor, Ife Omai, and our studio guest, General Ledge, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Applause TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Ife Oluwashi and the Lost Tape. Do not forget.